Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Into the Future LP. Okay, so currently Brandy is off to work and Cody is at work right now as well. Uh, Lily is just waking up and she's talking to Cosma currently, which actually now that we have a child, we have Indigo, I was thinking it's probably a good idea to go ahead and give Cosmo that uh, super nanny or whatever it is, a trait chip. So once Cody gets home, I'm going to go ahead and have him. Oh, he is home. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to have Cody go ahead and come here and uh, create a trait chip uh, for Cosma. Or he was on his way home. Um, I have to see what we need for it. Oh, I guess we don't have it. Oh. Hmm. Okay, let's see it. Robo Nanny. Unlearned Schematic? I don't know. But we need to be a level four. And children are blessings, but they're also exhausting. Who can use a nanny? Child care becomes the Plumbot's first priority. Enables all child care interactions from diaper changing to playing tag. I showed you guys that one before. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's see, who's closer? Actually, uh, once Brandy gets home, she can actually do it. That's awesome. Uh, he can't quite yet. Cody can't, but... Uh, Brandy can once she gets home. So once Brandy gets home, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, what is Lily doing? Lily, you need to take some deep breaths. Uh, she's feeling a little unstable, out of sorts. So let's go ahead and do that. And we actually need to purchase her, uh, her Arithmicon. Um, because that is, you know, what her, her fun is. So let's go ahead and do that. I forget where it is. Pretty sure it's in electronics and, uh, somewhere under here. Maybe audio. I forget. Maybe entertainment. Something that I don't remember. Uh, miscellaneous? I don't know. Um. I really don't know. I don't. Alright. Uh, this is quite awkward. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's check electronics one more time. You guys probably saw it and I just can't. Um, I can't find it. I'll look for it in a little while. It's whatever. Maybe, oh, under hobbies and skills. Hello. Should be under here. Hmm. Right there. Here we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this on the balcony for her. And now we're completely broke. So, Lily, why don't you come up here and go ahead and play alone a little bit. Um, and I think in the next part, we're going to head to the present just for a little while. Now that we have a home in the future, we're definitely going to spend a lot of time in the future. Probably, like, the rest of the LP. Unless, you know, well, when we trap, uh, travel to the dystopian future, then that's the only time we'll be heading back to the present, most likely. They are making a future here for them. <laughs> get it? A future here for themselves here in the future. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. She's getting pretty good though, huh? I think she's doing awesome. Let's fast forward a little bit. She's actually about to get her skill up. Actually, when does Brandy come home? Um, she's not in the best mood right now. She gets off at 4 p.m., okay. In a few hours. But come on, Brandy. Not Brandy, come on, Lily. <laughs> she's getting pretty good. I think I'm also going to change the laser colors to something else. I think that would be nice for her. Give a little bit of a switch. Maybe some hot pink and some neon blue. I think that would look really pretty. Oh, Cody. He needs to get a promotion. He's halfway there. Uh, he's only a level one. Um, but we're going to work on that. Why don't you go ahead and play a little bit of a racing video game. I used to play racing video games and I'd be like, let me pull over here at this store right here and let me stop at this red light. I was so cute. <laughs> Jeez, go pee. Alright, go use the restroom. Brandy, go ahead and head home. And uh, she wants to attend a planetarium show. Ooh, that seems kind of cool. Okay. Should be home very shortly. And then I'm going to have her go ahead and create that trait chip. All right. She is going to do the Robo Nanny. She needs three small blank processors, which Cody actually has them, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So let's go ahead and give Brandy uh, 
those. He doesn't really need them. I know she had a few as well, so just give them all to her. All right, Brandy, come over here and uh, create a trait chip. Uh, the Robo Nanny. This will work. Alrighty, where's Cosma? Cosma is right here. Let's go ahead and uh, do do do. Adjust her trait chips and go ahead and throw the Robo. Hey, I said come up here and adjust her trait chips and throw the Robo Nanny in there. Even though I think, you know, Brandy and Cody are totally capable of taking care of their kids, this is pretty awesome, you know? <laughs> Alright. There we go. Now she has the uh, cleaning, cooking, and the nanny trait chips. Awesome. Let's actually go ahead and give her a little tune-up. She's, uh, unstable. Uh, this shows the quality of your plum pot. Increasing the quality will slow the rate of which maintenance and battery power depletes. Become a better bot building. Become better at bot building to improve this with tune-ups. So yeah, we definitely need to start giving her tune-ups. She definitely needs them, you know, to come a more stable plum bot for sure. Um, yeah, definitely. Let's see. She's still unstable. We'll just have to work on our bot building skills, that's all. She's actually almost an adult, which is kind of crazy to think. But she's going to go uh, shower up and uh, she'll head to bed soon. First of all, Lily, why are you laying on their bed is my question. Reading a book. Like, that's not you at all. <laughs> go back upstairs and uh, do a little bit. Uh, let's actually set your colors a little bit. Let's do magenta and that whatever that is and then let's come up here and uh, play alone I want to see the color combination there we go that's what I wanted so pretty right I love it all right it's getting pretty good I think it's so neat, you know? It's it's different, and it's pretty easy. I mean, it takes a long time for this skill to go up, but it's pretty easy, uh, you know, to get your statue, so. Ooh! She is jamming. All right. Uh, Brandy's gonna go ahead and go to sleep. Cosma's gonna come over here and take care of the baby. Cody is asleep in Lily's bed. Get out of there, you creep. Alright, Lily. Why don't you go ahead and go to sleep? Alrighty, guys. I will get back to you guys in the morning. Alrighty, guys. So, Brandy's waking up to go to work, and Cody's actually coming home. He actually got a promotion today. He is now a scrap organizer. Um, he also got a bonus of 408 simoleons. Cody Freeman's talent for sweeping up on up spare bolts caught the supervisor's eyes he's been promoted to scrap organizer in case anyone needs a spare part cody now makes 37 simoleons per an hour and works from 7 p.m to 2 a.m um all right so his hours um i think yeah they're a bit different but still cool um i also noticed that he's actually in like the bot building you know career and she's in the astronomer career but, you know, I think it kind of gives them a little a little bit of a break. Like, Brandy's all about bot building everything. But I don't think if she... It's her hobby. I don't think she'd want to do it as, like, an everyday thing. You know what I mean? So the fact that Cody, you know, takes it on as a challenge, I think, is pretty cool. And here he is just walking the streets in his outerwear like a little weirdo. Um, <laughs> I think he's so cute. Okay, Lily actually needs to invite Emmett back over because he was a douchebag and, like, rode past us and didn't even give us the time of day. But we're going to go ahead and uh, take some deep breaths. She's been very unstable lately. But we're going to go ahead and invite Emmett over. If he will. Brandy's hard work and effort has really paid off. Uh, she now makes four simoleons per an hour. Well, four extra simoleons. Four simoleons per an hour would not pay the bills at all. All right. And speaking of bills, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we have some. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, check out uh, the mailbox. It's just adorable. Do you guys see this? They're pretty awesome. All right, uh, Emmett better come today. I swear, if he doesn't, I will kill him, okay? <laughs> I will chop, 
some body parts up. And uh, the toy, well, the mail that we got was just an imaginary friend. As creepy as that is. How lovely. Um, alrighty. Let's do a little bit of a morning Arithmicon session. Um, before Emmett gets here, if Emmett comes. Probably won't. Probably won't, because he is a royal douchebag. He's not even royal. He's just a douchebag. Nope, it doesn't look like he's coming. I hate him so much. We might have to go to the uh, community living center to actually go ahead and see him, because I'm pretty sure I saw him there quite a few times. So, we might just have to do that. All right, go use the restroom. And uh, we're going to go to the community living center. Hopefully Emmett's there. Alright, let's do that. And uh, I'm also thinking of getting Cosma a little a little friend, another little plum butt. In the future, first we need to work on Cosma and then we'll do that. But um, let's head to the community living center. I forget where it is. It's over here. I know that. It's uh, right here. Alright, Cody's asleep in bed. He's exhausted. That he is. That he is. Okay. Alright. So, I was thinking the perfect way to just go ahead and add on to this house is easily just add another roof layer. <laughs> um, yeah. Just keep adding on. Let's go ahead and head uh, to the community living center and go set, go ahead and see if Emmett's there. Hopefully he is. I, I don't know why he's avoiding us. It's kind of um rude. Let's go ahead and see if he's uh, here. Look at this. There he is. This. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This girl is jamming. This little jerk. You didn't want to come to us? We'll come to you. He's like, why is she here? He's like, literally, why is she here? Is he giving himself a hug, you little creep? High five him, shaka bra him. Oh my god, and he's totally ignoring us. Like a, mmm. Guy, there's something called a toupee. Get one. That bald head, though. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to Evan a little bit. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and be a little funny, tell him a funny story, make a silly face, uh, share, whimsy, show a funny video, and, uh, yeah, hopefully, he'll think we're cool. Come on, Emmett. We're probably, easily, the coolest person you've ever met, so. Um, change the future, Utopian. Um, tell me about Utopian future. Yeah, let's do that, uh. And then we're going to be a little bit more friendly. Let's talk about the cold. Get to know him a little bit. And, um, tell him another funny story. So it's kind of cool. So to change the future, you can just go to your time uh, person and the, the time traveler, Emmett. And uh, he will uh, help you out with that. That's pretty neat. Oh my gosh, his work hours are so crazy. He didn't even really get to sleep. Their hours are crazy. They literally... Get home and they are exhausted. All right, go to sleep. The baby's asleep right now as well, so that's good for you. Oh, he is so tired. I really want him to take the day off because his hours made it like impossible for him to even sleep really. So let's go ahead and uh, call his work and um, go ahead and uh, take the day off. Take one day off. Lily is really not feeling him. Uh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna tell him a joke and get a little funny. Con Congratulations. Sorry about that. Th my computer keeps trying to make me back it up, and I'm just like, no. Um, <laughs> so, uh, let's see what that said. Congratulations, Cody Freeman's request for unpaid time has been approved. Oasis Landing is a whimsical place. The rainbow in the sky is a sight to see, and everyone has some extra joy in their step. Okay, obviously you're not, because you've been kind of like a little rude to us. Even though you're our friend, you've been a little rude. Uh, let's tell an inside joke. Let's tell a dirty joke. Um, 
and impersonate a celebrity. He's feeling us. He thinks we're being pretty amusing now. That's cool. Um, can we throw a little bit of romance on him? Because it's not really letting us. Like, you would think that you could. But I guess not. Even though I think that'd be super cool. Um, we are going to show an internet cat video. I just want to be really good friends with him. It's not bad. Alright. Actually, let me go ahead and open this back up, uh, right here. And what was, um, what was this? Uh, the timekeeper. Become best friends with the time traveler, then change the future to dystopia and utopia. Okay, so I don't think you can actually get romantic with Emmett, but I'm pretty sure you guys can come, like, best friends, and that's about it. I don't think you can have him move in or anything like that, which is kind of crappy because, you know, that'd be pretty cool. But, um... It's understandable at the same time. He's like the NPC, so, of Into the Future, so it's understandable. We're good friends. Can we become best friends? Tell a story. Ask about day. Friendly hug him. Um, and talk about the fog. We're becoming really good friends with Emmett. Excited from anticipation of seeing friend. Aw, Lily. All right, I, this is definitely going to take time. We're going to go ahead and head home. Thank you, Emmett. I mean, we had to stalk you down, but thank you. All right, we're going to go ahead and head home. All right. Um, right. Let's see. Are these two asleep in bed? They are. Good for them. I'm happy that they are having time to finally just sleep in the same bed together. Actually, she should be getting a promotion tomorrow when she wakes up. Awesome. Alrighty guys, I am going to go ahead and skip until the morning and I will see you guys then. Alright guys, so it is the morning time and we actually called the repair technician. I thought I would go ahead and show you guys the repair technician here in uh, the future. It's actually a plum bot, which I think is sick. It's pretty cool if you ask me. Also, today is Indigo's birthday and overnight I had Cosma go ahead and run to the store and we actually picked up a uh, bot building book. Before, I was looking for the skill book and I couldn't find it, but then I had Cosma go ahead and head back and I actually found it, so I'm very pleased with that. So when Brandy gets home, I'm going to have her go ahead and begin to read bot building for dummies. Um, but yeah, she should get a promotion today at work and since it's Indigo's birthday... Uh, I definitely want uh, Thumbs to have a little birthday for her. It's going to be literally a seriously so quick birthday because Cody goes to work literally, I think, like an hour or two right after uh, Brandy gets home. So, yeah, they are pretty busy. Let's go ahead and invite uh, Emmett on over to the house and uh, see how that goes. So yeah, now our house is repaired. Thank goodness. Uh, Cody, why don't you go ahead and make yourself a drink over here? Uh, order. Are you, are you serious? <sighs> you need to, to order that special drink, you, your technology level has to be a level four. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, okay then. Just order a drink then. <laughs> actually a full moon today not too excited not too excited but uh, yeah having uh, that is pretty neat I want the food synthesizer next that's why I left that spot right there empty is so we can go ahead and put that right there because that's so easy but what Cody actually wants to go do is which we'll actually do before we leave for the future uh, I mean to go back to the present time is to go ahead and check the lottery winning tickets and we most definitely will do that it is revolting. Cody always knew that he hated certain colors. It turns out that drinks of that color are just as awful. As awful. He drank a purple drink, and that is my favorite color, so how dare you. Actually, my favorite color is changing all the time. Um, it's been purple for the longest, but I kind of like deep red. I've really been liking the deep red. Alright, is Emmett actually... Okay, you know what? I'm so done with you, Emmett. I will come to you, but I am so done so done. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward until Brandy gets out of work because that's literally all I have to do right now. And then, um, yeah, let's actually go ahead and see when the next, uh, what is it called? Planetarium show is. Let's see. It is at 12 p.m. Oh, she won't. She'll be at work. That sucks. Oh, but it's okay. 
we will definitely go sometime. In the meantime, Lily's actually feeling a little bit uh, shiznees. Shiznees, is that even a word? But she will go uh, attend it with Emmett. So that means Emmett's at our house. Oh, is he? I don't see him. Unless he's being super, super creepy and like hiding in our house. It's possible. Uh, we're going to go ahead and ask Emmett to come with us. I think that'd be pretty neat. Let's do it. Even though, okay, he's not in the car. What? You know, I'm so sick of Emmett. I want to fight him. Can we do that? After we become best friends with him or something, can we fight him? I think we should. Is that the show? Was that the show? Go go back in there. Just go alone. There you go. Poor thing. <laughs> There's Emmett. Freaking D-bag four days. What a jerk. And he left before he even came outside. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy out here on his computer. This little old man. My grandpa actually just bought a smartphone. And um. Oh my goodness. I can't even. Uh, I can't even express it. It's so crazy. It's so funny too. You know. he he He's always on Facebook. He doesn't even know how to type or anything. Congratulations, Brandy's impressive performance has earned her a promotion to Planetarium Operator, as well as a bonus of 396 million. Hours spent staring at the sky have qualified Brandy Freeman for a promotion to the Planetarium Operator. She's eager to lead her first star guide tour. She now makes 42 million for, per an hour and works from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Ooh. So she's going to have to start uh, talking to her co-workers a little bit. But uh, let's go ahead and... Um, Buy this cake really, really, really fast. And uh, have the birthday for Indigo. And then we are going to go ahead and uh, just do whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Come on, who's bringing... Alright, Cosmo's bringing uh, Indigo to the cake. Cody's carpool comes in like legit an hour. It's, his carpool's here. This sucks. And it's a full moon. Indigo's birthday would be on a full moon, right? Cosmo, where are you bringing her? What was that? Alright, go ahead and have your birthday, Munchkin. The days have flown by and Indigo is now a toddler. Alright, since we customized her a little bit, I'm really curious to know what she looks like. Um... So uh, let's go ahead and buy a mirror really, really quick. I don't know why I never put mirrors down in my house. It, it, it kind of makes sense if I would. Um, we're just going to buy one really fast just uh, to do this. And uh, we're going to go ahead and have Indigo come over here and uh, change her appearance a little bit. I wonder if there's any new hairs for toddlers. I don't think there is. Um, let's go ahead and see hair. Uh, nope, Into the Future did not come with any new toddler hair which is disappointing I would have liked to uh, seen that for sure but um she definitely has amazing eyes uh, that definitely looks like her mom's eyes I think so um we're gonna go ahead and give her some little Cinnabons of course and we're gonna make this actually kind of kind of crazy we're gonna make her have some uh do some uh, actually you know I liked how she looked before she's a cutie for sure um so yeah this is a little indigo I was gonna say we should give her some indigo highlights or something uh, but we won't all right this is cute though she's adorable she looks like her mom her mom has these amazing eyes she has her mom's eyes and her dad's hair color awesome alrighty so Cody's off to work and these two are gonna chill and indigo has uh grown up which is crazy and we're gonna change her outfit in the next part uh but i'm gonna go ahead and end this part here i hope you guys enjoyed it in the next part we're gonna go ahead and begin reading our bot building for dummies hopefully we can go ahead and throw some cool trait chips in there where cosma can find love or something i don't know um maybe with another plum bot um <laughs> and yeah uh, we are working on coming best friends with Ummit and our rhythmicon skills so I will see you guys in the next part. Until then, I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.